When soil bags arrive at the lab, they must be sorted and matched with their paperwork. Each form is looked over to make sure it's filled out completely and accurately, and each sample goes into a set of 100 samples each. The top of each soil bag is chopped off. Then the samples are placed in the oven to dry overnight. And the next day, the samples come out of the oven. Each sample is then ground up. This is important so that each soil sample is of relatively uniform particle size and so that the sample is homogeneous. After each sample has been ground, each sample is then scooped into a pH cup. The scoop used is a standardized volume of 15 milliliters. Here you can see we include check samples in our pH analysis of every set. This helps us ensure that our pH analyzer is reading the correct values, as these check samples have known pH values. Next, 15 milliliters of deionized water is added to each soil sample. Before samples are analyzed, the pH analyzer is calibrated using a 4 pH buffer in pink and 7 pH buffer in yellow. After calibration, the analyzer is ready to run. Here you can see the automated dual probe system taking two pH measurements at once. Along with our check samples, we also have duplicates of samples within the set being analyzed. These duplicates allow us to monitor the accuracy of the pH analyzer. One pH analysis run typically takes around 30 minutes to complete. Next, 15 milliliters of buffer is added to each sample, and another pH analysis is run. After the buffer pH analysis, all of the pH data is entered into various Excel spreadsheets. The computer crunches the numbers to produce a soil report for each sample. The client receives the soil report along with specific recommendations to amend soil pH.